So today I just thought we'd take a look at this bad um, Allen Bradley industrial power supply. So we bring over our Cliff Quick Test relay clicks. We don't have any DC voltage on the bus there. Just to verify here, we do have 120 volts going in. So I'm going to let these caps discharge. We'll take the cover off, take a look inside. A T10 Torx bit. So back now um, with the cover off and doing some testing, one of the first things that I always do is do a visual check for anything that's obvious. And although I could have overlooked some things, I don't see any bulge capacitors, which is usually a telltale. I don't see any uh, cracked transistors, which these... um. These have the strap to the heat sink, but I did take these off on the primary side. I took the strap and the cover off because we even had the um, the cover as, as well as the straps to the heat sink, and I couldn't get a good part number. But to uh, go across these transistors and do a check, we see that these are um, 20 amp rated uh, power transistors. These are the TO220 package. And pin 1 is our gate. And we have our drain and source on pin 2 and 3 respectively with the, uh, the tab also being pin 2 which is common. Which is typical I mean on the um, 220 packages. And we see that we do have our diode across our drain and source. So this may help us out when we're doing our checks. So I have my meter over in diode mode. So we have one here. And that's our diode across. And going the other way, I mean it shows some voltage there, um, but it doesn't show a short. Okay. Now that's concerning. That's pin 1 to pin 3. So that is not good because that's on the gate. Because the way these are oriented, um, it's going to be more like laying this way. So our pin 1 is the closest to, to me here. So. One to three is showing the short, and that is not good. Source to gate. But one thing here, if we can see the traces go around to this small transistor here, I'll try to get an up close uh, snapshot or photo of this. These components are not numbered, but this this being a five nine one uh, transistor. So I go across the pins on this little surface mount. Short, 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 short. That is not good. It's not always a safe bet when it's in a circuit that something else isn't going on. Showing short across all three terminals to each other. And then to show this, uh, this gate to source uh, shorted. This is an area that I definitely want to take a look at. Um, whether this the actual component or not is hard to say at this point. But I think I'm going to take this little 591 off. And then I can um, I can check this bigger um, power transistor a little bit better. <clears throat> so back now with a little hot air blowing straight on this transistor. I got the small tip on here and uh, low velocity. Just trying not to 
disturb any of the other components if I can. All right, and we are removed. This is just a little cheap 858D hot air um, SMD tool, but it works good, but it does make my lights flicker, just that SCR pulsing. So I don't think it was this transistor. I believe it actually is the power transistor. So it's either the power transistor or something else in the circuit that I, I don't see anything that would cause it to be a dead short like that. So. So I'll actually get the uh, soldering iron out and I'll, I'll remove this transistor and we'll be right back. So I have this almost completely on solder. I think I'm going to get some solder wick and just clean up a little bit more where it's still hanging on. So with the transistor out and heat sink compound everywhere, just like never sees, it gets everywhere. All right, now we got it on still on diode check. Cross one and three is definitely showing a short, and a dead short. So I definitely don't like that. There is a diode across there, but that was definitely where our, our short was coming from. What was the odds of that happening? So we need a 20N60 S5. And usually I do wait for the capacitors to Discharge. <clears throat> yeah, we still got um, 120. Sometimes I just use a little incandescent light bulb. And by taking the primary away, the secondary drained off as well. slowly build back up a little so back now I do have an in-channel fit a little bit different part number ain't quite the same current rating just to um, test this out <clears throat> before I actually order one and the leads wasn't quite long enough so it is it is simply just flipped around and mounted like a surface mount <clears throat> the pin out was the same so it's on top and just backwards. And of course our pins are flipped around right there. Before we apply power, if we check this out, we have our diode junction there. And we're not shorter. The problem I had, uh, finding some transistors is I could find the wattage of current you know just in my stash that I had for used parts or um, spare parts but it was hard to find something rated for like five or six hundred uh, volts like this particular um, MOSFET or, or power fits so now we got this bridged where that jumper was that was arcing we got the surface mount transistor back on there from testing earlier and we have this makeshift uh, in-channel fit. 
I'll solder back on temporarily kind of like a surface mount up here and hey there we go we got our green LED and bring the meter over so you can see a little better 24.1 volts I like it you know one thing that I thought was interesting about these Allen Bradley industrial power supplies almost every one you work on it has the pulse from Munich their name in the pulse of pulse power supplies and uh, this one right here being no different because even though I didn't see it on this board you can tell the boards a very similar layout than the other pulse power supply boards we have a pulse number on the transformer here as well as this transformer here so and a lot of the similar components and design how many y'all did I drive crazy using this color scheme here <laughs> just for testing with this old props cable but I do know that the European standard would be wired differently especially when you got the blue one on here typically in America we have black as a hot and white as a neutral and I just use the brown for the ground. No rhyme or reason for it. But if nothing else, driving somebody crazy. So if you like this video about troubleshooting this uh, Allen Bradley Industrial Power Supply, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.